this is a short tutorial on probability and more specifically probability scales and functional skills questions. So what I'm going to draw on the board first of all is a rough probability scale line. Now important thing to remember with these is they don't need to be a specific length. The actual length of the line is not important to working out probabilities so it's not essential. And you might actually be given this in the question anyway so it's not even a case of you'd always have to draw this usually you'll be given an example scenario and you have to point out on the scale working out what the probability is of a certain event occurring and identify whereabouts on that scale that event would occur so let's first of all look at a really common example and that's going to be what is probability of flipping heads on a coin, on a standard fair coin. Okay, so that's your question. You've got to identify that on the scale. So the first thing we need to look at is how many possible outcomes are there. So on a standard fair coin, there are two outcomes because you've got one head and one tails on it. Then we need to look at which outcome do we want. We're just looking for heads. So that's only one out of the two possible outcomes. So if I write it's one in two, or one out of two, means the same thing that's the chance of it happening. What we would normally do if we're looking at probability is actually write that as a decimal. So first of all one in two would be the same as a fraction so the chance of it happening is a half, one over two. But as I say it's more common that we'd write that as a decimal. So we need to convert that to a decimal by doing top number divided by bottom number. That's explained in more detail in our specific tutorial on converting between fractions, decimals and percentages if you're not sure exactly why that works. So I'm going to bring the calculator up and do 1 divided by 2 as I've just said and that gives you 0 0.5 as your decimal answer. So 1 divided by 2 equals 0 0.5. So that is the probability of flipping heads on a fair coin as a decimal. It's 0 0.5. So I'm going to go back to the scale now and what you always need to label on this probability scale is the far left side at the end that is always, no matter what, going to be a zero and on the far right hand side again that's always going to be a one so what that tells you is a zero on the far left that means the chance of something happening is impossible it can't happen and the far right hand side is the opposite of that it means it's a certainty to happen so therefore anything in between that is either it's unlikely over this side and it's likely over this side so it's just about how likely or unlikely something is in this case we found out that the chance of throwing a heads on a fair coin was 0 0.5 so that's going to be directly in the middle and possibly the question would just require you to put an arrow down and say that's how likely something is to happen using your probability scale so that's one typical example. We're going to go on to look at another one that's also common. So we'll make a new scale for this. So like I said before, this could actually be given to you anyway, this line in the scale. If not, just draw a simple line and don't worry about how what the length of it is. So this question, we're going to look at what is the probability of rolling a two on a fair die. Okay, so again, exactly the same technique as we did before. The first part we need to check is how many outcomes are there. Well, on a standard fair die, there's going to be six outcomes because you can roll between one to six. So six total outcomes.
and then again how many are there that fit our criteria that we're looking for so there's only one two between one to six so it's one out of six this time so again that's it written out normally we can write that as a fraction then so one over six and then again it's common practice to change that across to a decimal so that would be one divided by six top divided by bottom so if we bring the calculator up for that one divided by six equals so you've got 0 0.16 recurring so it's common practice to round that off to two decimal places so we'll call that one point uh, 0.17 sorry so write that on here 0.17 so again that's the probability of this event occurring as a decimal and now we just need to indicate that somewhere on our scale so if we go back to putting the 0 and the 1 at each end of the scale possibly having a dash to show the midpoint at around 0.5 then you can just draw an arrow roughly where you think 0.17 is going to be. So it's going to be over here somewhere. So that shows you that this event is quite unlikely in terms of what's the chance of rolling a 2 on a fair die and one throw. And that is probability. That's the end of the tutorial.